Hello and welcome everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about the features of our ModeBit software. My name is Patrick and I am photography expert in Mode360 company. So what is the ModeBit software? In short, it's a dedicated software for our photography Mode360 devices and it also allows you to control the camera settings remotely. And of course, apart from that, the software has a lot of features and functions which boost your process of photographing uh, products. So it has a lot of tools which optimize the whole process of taking the pictures. Of course, I'm going to say a couple of things about these features in a minute. So let's have a look what we've got on the screen. This is the main interface of the ModeVit software. And straight away you can see that I have got my live preview. I am now actually connected to the Jumbo device and also I have got my camera connected to the PC with the USB cable. So the live preview allows me to see the differences every time I change my camera settings or when I change the lighting in the Jumbo, I can see the results straight away on my screen. So for now, let's focus on the first icon, the camera icon. This panel allows you to control the camera settings and it allows you to change the shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO. Please bear in mind that the camera has to be set in the manual mode. For those who uh, are not a photography expert and don't really have any experience in the photography, of course you can save a template or you can save a preset which will remember all the camera settings and of course I will show you how to save and how to create a preset in a minute. The next thing is the image size and you can choose between a large full resolution files and you can decrease the resolution or you can decrease the quality and these sizes depend on the camera that you've got connected to your computers. Down below is the white balance and with this color diagram here you can compensate your colors or you can compensate the white balance and of course down below you can use the presets which are available in your camera but we do recommend to use the auto white balance because the lighting inside our devices the temperature of the lights is equivalent to daylight so it does deliver a true colors so the next icon is the platform control and using these red arrows here i can control and spin my platform of course i can just click on it and hold it down to make the platform spin. When I right click, I don't have to hold it down anymore and the platform will spin continuously. So the next thing is the lighting diagram. It allows me to control the lighting inside the device and when I click on each individual light, I can turn it off completely or I can change the intensity of the light by 10%. I can go from zero to 100%. So it gives me quite flexible control over the lighting and of course I can see the results straight away on my preview. So the lighting settings as well as the camera settings can be saved as a template or as a preset. In order to save the preset, I have to go to the top bar of my interface and I just click anywhere here. And now when I click on the create, I can put my preset name let's name it a preset and now i can also add a description what this preset is for so for example when we have a white products and a black products they may require a slightly different lighting so this is my preset for black camera so in this description window I can put some information maybe for other people who are going to be working with the ModeVit software and I can put some notes about what camera or what lens I have used, any information that might be useful for other users of the system. So now I have to choose the color of the icon. Let's go for red. This window also tells me that this preset will be saved for the Jumbo device. And here I've got a list of all the settings that the preset will remember. Now I've got my preset easily accessible here. So when I switch between the presets, let's go for this one, for example, the software will ask me if I actually want to load the settings and I click yes. And now I can see that the lighting has changed completely. And now when I go back to my previous preset, 
Now I have restored my previous settings. Taking a single picture with the Modebit software is very simple. All I have to do is I press the capture icon here and then the camera takes a picture and the image file is saved already on the computer. At this stage, I've got my preview window and I can name the file as I go. For example, if my products have some ID numbers or some specific names, I can put the name here and when I click change the name, the name of the file will be changed and saved. In order to create a directory, a folder where my images will be saved, I have to click here and now I can create a new folder. I can name it, let's say, project one. And from now on, all my image files will be saved in this folder. Now, when you look at this section on the left side, this section is responsible for taking multiple pictures for the 360 animation. And now the rule is that the more pictures you take for a 360 animation, the smoother it's going to be. So when you look at the screen now, and on the left side, you've got an example of the presentation with eight pictures. And on the right side, you've got an example of the presentation where I have taken 45 pictures. So you can actually see the difference between these two presentations. And now, this is where I indicate my number of shots which I want to take for my 360 presentation. The maximum amount of pictures is 360 images for my presentation and it will be like extremely smooth. Let's take eight images for now. Down below, I can do a full rotation or I can go, for example, for 180 if I do not want to show the back of the product. So the spherical steps means that I can actually add a third dimension to my presentation. The system will take multiple series of pictures at different angles and then the, the mode with software will merge all the pictures together and it will give me a 3D animation of the product which will allow me to view the product from above. There is another video tutorial on our YouTube channel explaining more in depth on how to create a spherical presentation. So if you want to find out how to create a spherical presentation and add a third dimension to your presentation, please visit our YouTube channel and you will find the video there. When we look at the platform control on the left side, there is like a small icon and this is a laser centering system. When the laser centering system is enabled, now we can see on the preview, there is like a red line going across the product. This indicates the center of the platform and it's very crucial the product is well positioned before we proceed taking the pictures for the 360 animation. I can also use a grid on my preview which will tell me if my product is right in the center of the frame. So now let's take a series of 8 images in a 360 rotation. Before we do it, we do recommend that you actually switch your autofocus on your lens to manual mode because otherwise when the product starts to spin the autofocus may go a little bit crazy and it will start to search for the focusing point so we do recommend to switch the autofocus on your lens to manual so i'm going to do it now and you can see that the autofocus now is disabled and now i am ready to proceed with taking the pictures for my presentation and all i have to do is click this green button here and press start. Once the camera has taken all the pictures, I can open it in Mode Look Creator. So using this built-in Mode Look Creator plugin, I can create my animation. Once the animation is generated, it will be opened automatically in my internet browser, as the animation is based on a HTML5 code. I can make the animation full screen and using the arrows on the keyboard or using the mouse I can rotate the product and I can zoom in using the scroll. The next icon on the left is the BGR mode which stands for the background removal. This tool will remove the background automatically from your image. When it comes to the background removal you can choose what file format and what final outcome you want to get. 
you can choose between a PNG file format with the transparent background or you can have a JPEG file with the color background already behind the product. So when we go to the application and settings, you can choose between a transparent background or you can define your colors. And when you choose your color at this stage, you will get a JPEG file with the background color of your choice. Let's focus on a transparent background for now. So in order to remove the background from the picture, I have to enable the function. So all I have to do is I click this icon here and from now on, every picture which I take will have the background removed. And this is our final result. So as you can see on the preview, the background has been removed completely. And now what I can do, I can also view my image in the mask mode. So when I click here on the mask, I can actually preview my image and see if the background has been removed correctly. I can also use the sliders on the left side which allow me to control the mask and control the sensitivity of the background removal. For example, I can have a control over how much of an image I can remove or I want to remove or how much of an image I want to restore. What I can also do, I can save these values here as a preset. So I've got three presets available here. So I can save my preset, which will remember the values of the BGR mode. And finally, I can add a color to my background. So I can choose between any color that I want. If I go for gray, for example, the background will turn gray. So let's say this is my final result, which I am happy with, and I want to save it to the computer. So all I have to do is I have to click save the disk. Or when I have a series of images and I want to apply exactly the same settings to all of the images in a folder, then I have to click apply to directory. And now when it comes to the background removal, it's a quite complex feature in our software. I can choose between a different types of algorithms inside our BGR mode. There is another video tutorial dedicated for the transparent products. And now, another extremely powerful feature of our Modefit software is the Super Focus. The Super Focus function, or some people call it a focus stacking, is very useful, especially when it comes to macro photography, where we have the very shallow depth of field and we use a macro lens. So how the Super Focus actually works? Um, we have to indicate a point A and point B, which will be the nearest point to our camera and the furthest point from our camera. Using this focusing rectangle, I'm going to drag it over here as I'm guessing that this will be my first point. So I'm going to focus and this will be my point A. I'm going to zoom in just to make sure that this part of an image is in focus and this is going to be my point A. Now, what I have to do is I need to drag this rectangle, the focusing rectangle over here as I'm guessing this will be my point B, which will be the last focusing point. So I'm going to zoom in and using these arrows, I'm going to find my point B. As you can see on the preview, the image is getting sharper. So now this is going to be my point B. I can see that my camera will use four focusing points in total in order to get this kind of hyper depth of field. So once I've got my point A and B indicated, all I have to do is I press the play button and click start. So you can have your background automatically removed and at the same time you can be sure that your product will be fully in focus. The ghost masking is a quite small but very useful feature in the mode with software and let's take a picture. And now what I can do is when I right click on my picture, I can go and choose set ghost on this file. So now when I move my product, 
you will see like a low transparency mask on the preview and this will be my guideline for positioning the next product which I am going to photograph. And this feature is really great as it allows me to get this visual consistency in terms of how I present my products on the website. I hope you found this video useful. For more information, you can visit our website mode360eu. Please visit our YouTube channel for more video tutorials. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you.